Hello everybody, Fixer here, welcome back to Thimbleweed Park, where the sun doesn't shine and the dust apparently doesn't matter. Alright, so we're going to take Dolores out and about on the town, I think. First stop is going to be to get ourselves a map over here at the Quickie Pal. Damn, she's quick. All right. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Probably I can't not. Open that. No, no, pick it up. Thank you. What's up, Leonard? Hi, Dolores. Welcome back to Thimbleweed. <laughs> God. Shame to hear about Chuck's death. He was a great man. Dude was charming and smart and full of integrity. Sure. <laughs> All right. Still working at the Quickie. Still pal. working at the Quickie Pal, huh? You know it, Dee Delicious. I'm keeping it real here while I work on my inventions. You're an inventor? Well, not exactly. But once I figure out how to get what's in my head onto paper, I'll be just like your uncle. Right. That's the trick, isn't it? Why would you want to be like my Uncle Chuck? The man is my hero. He had it all. Babes, brains, and fat stacks of Benjamins. Who wouldn't want to be like him? Well, me, for one. <laughs> Nope, she wanted to design games. My uncle wasn't perfect. Uncle Chuck was human after all. There's another side to the man he showed in public. Yeah, but I bet it was even more awesome than the one we got to see. I always wished he was my uncle. Although it would have made my crush on you in high school super weird. <laughs> Barf-tastic. Aww, don't give the guy a hard time. How's your cousin doing? I heard he got into MIT? Yeah, he did. The total dweeb. The town looks pretty dead now. I haven't been home in a while, and it seems like half the store is packed up and left. Yeah, there's a pretty gnarly ghost town vibe out there. But the diner is still open if you want to pay to lose your lunch. Uh, and the arcade is still going strong. Oh, it's not. I can't get there. I think I've beaten all the games in the arcade. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you still have the high score on most of the machines. It's funny. I don't get to play as many games now that I make them for a living. You work for Mucus Phlegm, right? Yeah. Bodacious. See you, Leonard. See you, Leonard. Okay. Come back soon, Dolores. Um, anything here I should interact with? It looks hungry. I don't have an extra finger, though. I personally am really fond of the chocolate bonbons. I don't care, dude. Oh, they're lean. You're so soft and fluffy. Hmm. I wanted to... Can I give? Let me know. It's Lurleen. My pet chinchilla stuffy. Dad gave it to me when I was three years old. She won't give. It's called Levo's Bear Repellent. When you have this, you don't need to bear arms. Let me know if I can... Nope. You can't find me anything. Um... I don't need to go in there. Alright, so we got ourselves a map now, so that's good. But we're just going to take her around town. Ooh. Actually, you know what? Let's first get rid of the hot dogs. Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? Well, oh, don't be pissy about it. Eh, it's not too bad. Long hours, low pay, boss is a jerk. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You talking about me? Shut up, Dave! Look, writing you out of the will was a dick move. But I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, long hours in his workshop and vanishing for days. Anyway. Typical. Um, let's I'd like eat to that order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Take the hot dog. I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. All right, so hot dogs are all gone, up, hon, which means I may be able to. Holy this shit! This hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I. Uh, she scarfed that shit. Go. Holy cow! So now she they'll serve hamburgers and whatnot. There is a massive puddle of vomit back there. Ew! Oh. She had all, all over her hanky. I feel better now. Ugh. All right, go back in there. I want to see. I want to see what else we got. Welcome to the S and D diner. What can I do for you, Dolores? You 
Give I'd me like a hamburger. Order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Burgers. I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey. Now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Dave, burn one, take it through the garden, and pin a rose on it. Ready. Been saving one here in the grill pocket, just in case. Here okay. you go. Okay. So I get to actually keep the burger. Welcome All right. Welcome to the S and well, I mean, Diner. Well, may as well stuff my inventory you, then, Dolores? right? I I'd would like, like to, to order, order some, some food. food and not sure. pay for it. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Something free like I'll a, have cherry, a pie. cherry pie. Sorry, some tall guy just ate the last slice with a cup of joe. Bullshit, you liar. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. I'll have a salad. We're out of salad. So she lied. She lied. She's a I lying my liar. Mind. I'm not hungry. Later, Dolores. Whatever. All right, let's go B Street. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. It's already slightly open. I don't want to pick that up. I can't push that. I can't pull that. Okay. That way, that talk. Let's go to YouTube. Hi. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? Hi, Ricky. Hi. Yeah. It's been a long time. What happened to your bakery? Oh, I had to pivot. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies, but over the past couple of years, business has really slowed down. I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. And I can see how busy you are selling tubes. Oh, Dolores, you always had such a good sense of humor. This is evening. You should see how busy it is in the afternoon. Huh. Here's an old receipt. Know anything about tube pullers? Hmm. I seem to remember a tube puller that we got from Smart Buy Electronics. We bought up all their inventory when they went under. Cool. Give me. Yes, here it is. This is a top of the line tube puller. Your uncle always bought the best. Yes, he did. So is Thank it you, Ricky. restricted to a single type of vacuum tube or can I pull just about anything? This is fantastic. I have progress. All right, um, let's go down here. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Okay, well, bus station. I don't think we'll find anybody here, but I'm gonna check it just in case. Gotcha. All right, um, map. Where do we want to go? B Street? We want to go to A Street. Let's go here. Can I pull this tube? It's a CT992 in perfect condition. It won't work on that size tube. All right, that's it's what... for a TX1138 size tube. That's a CT99. All right, that's kind of what I figured. And I'm sure that is is just in her uncle's lab. Hello, Dolores. How's life in the big city? It's fun. Having a lot of fun. Interested in a little interview for the award-winning nickel? I'm sure our readers would be fascinated. Uh, maybe after the will reading, the town is pretty mad at me for abandoning my uncle. Yeah, let's I see what she says. I don't think so. The town is pretty mad at me for abandoning my uncle. It's a perfect way to get your side of the story out. Local girl makes good making... Making... What is it you make again? <laughs> Adventure games. Ah, games. You mean for kids? Ah, uh, too funny. Um... They're going to be huge! Ever played an adventure game before? They are going to be huge. Lots of shooting and killing, that sort of thing? Nope. You solve puzzles and navigate great interactive dialogues. You mean like the one we're having right now? <laughs> yeah, but mine are better written. Oh! I hope so. Damn. I'm a little confused over my feelings for Uncle Chuck. He was a complex man. Mind if we uh, talk some more interesting. about Uncle Chuck? Oh, I could write a whole book about his ego and Please arrogance. Please do. Yeah, tell me more. What else do you think about Uncle Chuck? He was a charmer that could manipulate a crowd. What? This is interesting that he keeps letting Can me go back here. Can we talk some more about Uncle Chuck? Deep down, do you think he was a good person? I'm sure he thought he was. That, I know. Uh-huh. I'm not sure why I stopped by. That's okay. I know times are tough for you. I think I need to go. 
Thanks for talking, Natalie. Bye, Dolores. Sorry to hear about your Uncle Chuck's passing. Bye, Natalie. Wasn't there a report in here about that? I wanna... No, not Baby Gators. No. Oh. Yes. You don't have anything to say about it? Um, I need to do a look at? Not a look at. No, nothing? All right. She just looks at it. I was hoping she would comment. It's a map of the Tri-Fimbleweed Park County area. Okay. So let's scram. And... Hi, Dolores. You back for some more of my great postal jokes? No. No, I'm not. How is life at the post office? Busy, 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 Dolores. Being a federal employee isn't always as glamorous as it sounds. Not that I'm complaining. You know I love serving my country. I know. Your country thanks you for your service. You're welcome there, Dolores, but there's no need to thank me. I didn't get into postal work for the accolades. Of course not. <laughs> How silly of me. Um, yeah. Why did you choose to become a mailman? Well, first of all, let me stop you right there, Dolores. You don't choose the path to this uniform. It chooses you. I see. Postal work is a calling, sort of like being a priest or a superhero. Well, I'm stoked to know that the mail is in safe hands. I'd take a bullet for your packages, Dolores. Don't you worry. Okay, anything, anything new? new in town since I left? Not really, unless you count more stores closing down. Yeah, I'm getting ghost town vibes to the max. I don't see things getting better now that old Chuck has passed. My condolences, by the way. Uh, you don't think the town might be better off without my uncle? What? Dolores, why would you say a thing like that? Your uncle brought this town prosperity like we'd never seen. Without him, we're like a rowboat without oars. I guess I just saw a darker side to Uncle Chuck. Dolores, don't you speak ill of the dead. I know you're probably just confused with the grief, but people in this town loved your uncle, so watch what you say. I won't hold it against you, but some folks out there can get pretty nasty if you get on the wrong side of them. I guess. Hmm, that sounds like Thanks, a warning. All right, it's I don't need to, to hear see you love your job. See ya, George. Come back soon, Dolores. It's a very good point. How many other, how many people can say they absolutely love their job like George does? All right, let's go. Hey, Willie. Hi, Dolores. A long time no see. Well, that's what happens when you piss your uncle off by getting a fancy job at the video game factory. Good job on that, by the way. <laughs> Chuck was fuming. I'm sorry my Uncle Chuck destroyed your life. Your Uncle Chuck was a petty, egotistical, arrogant man. Damn! But you're all right, Dolores. I guess in your case, the acorn does fall far from the tree. Okay. What happened between you and Uncle Chuck? Backstory. He never really explained why he had you blacklisted in town. If you really want to know, I took one of his many girlfriends to see that creepy insult clown perform. Chuck never could stand to lose, even on principle. So he made an example of me. So they didn't go too far, too far into it. We already knew, uh, we already knew that. My uncle was such a jerk. You're a sweet kid. Now, you might have your uncle's brains, but you still held on to your heart. Don't ever lose that. Whatever. You're a murderer. How have you been? Eh, can't complain. Got some new digs in the sewers with a great supply of mushrooms. Sounds banging, I guess. Oh, it sure is. Banging means good, right? <laughs> oh, kids with their slang. Do you still do watch repair? I haven't done watch repair in years. Not since your uncle blacklisted me and I lost my business. I used to do watch repair for all the rich and famous of Thimbleweed County. Are there that many? See you, Willie. There's that bug again. All right. Um, you know what? Hold on. Open up the burger. I can't open that. Um. Doesn't look as bad as the hot dog, but looks can be deceiving. Right. All right. Well, let's talk to the old Don't girl. touch the caster lot before it's too late. Yeah. 
Okay. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore, Dolores. The bubble fish has a banana. What does that even mean? I have no idea what you... It's good to see you again, Marina. Dolores, you little mojo bean. I'm so pleased to see you back in town. If anyone has given you any trouble in the big city, you say the word, and I'll put a hex on them. I've got a really good one I'm dying to use that will turn their bathing suit parts green. Seems like everybody likes Dolores. What is it with you and those totally trippin' hexes? I like to get creative with my craft, dear. On an unrelated note, do you know anyone who deserves a permanent talking zit on their face? Oh, Marina, enough with the curses already, jeez. Although, if my sister keeps acting like a total bin bat, I might come back to you. Oh, that's what we need to do. I guess you heard about my uncle? Oh, yes, dear. And I'm sorry for your loss. Are you, though? If you are sad, then I am sad for you, Dolores. Although I can't pretend that the idea of Chuck roasting in the fires of hell doesn't provide me with <laughs> some amusement. That's, like, way harsh, Marina. But to be perfectly honest, I don't really know how to feel right now. Uh... People really loved my uncle, didn't they? It was a mixed bag, my dear. Most of the town adored Chuck, but there were many of us who despised the man and sensed the darkness within. What did you mean by the darkness my uncle had? Chuck exuded an aura of greatness, but that greatness was always balanced on a knife's edge of good and evil. The man was ruthless and fell into the dark a long time ago. I thought he wanted me to be happy, but really, he just wanted me to keep his legacy alive. I idolized my uncle, but if that's all I was to him, then I wonder if I ever really knew the man at all. He sounds a little like Dexter, say the darkness, although his was the dark passenger, right? Yeah. How have things same been thing. since I left? Oh, same old, same old. Leonard ate all the donuts at the Quickie Pal, Ransom is still a jerk, cryptozoologists are hunting the tentacle monsters, the usual. Nice. Well, you're the one with the exciting new life as a game developer. Tell me all about it. Oh, yeah. Do you really want to hear about my job? Yes, absolutely. Okay, but you gotta keep this under your scarf. We're gonna be bringing out these radical new text adventure games, but plot twist, they're gonna have pictures instead of text. We're calling them clickers because you have to click on the picture instead of just typing. <laughs> totally fresh, right? That sounds very nice, dear. I already read about that on one of those CompuServe chat rooms. Ooh, damn. You were on a CompuServe chat room? Get a clue, dear. It's 1987. <laughs> there's a whole new world of online hexing opening up, and there's no way I'm gonna miss out. That and the internet is great for monitoring my stock portfolio. I had no idea Voodoo was so high-tech these days. Goodbye, Madame Marina. Come back anytime, Dolores. Okay, good to know. Alright, so... Oh, what am I doing? I want to speed up to... Not the bus station. Main Street. Yeah. Anything in here? Probably... Oh, God, that scared me for a second. I forgot he was here. Uh, I don't think so. Probably not up here either. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, back here. Let's go... Well, first of all, why don't we check her journal? Find out what happened to Dad. So, that's the hotel. Key to the factory gate. Don't know where to get that at. Lenorna Library. Can't do that. Lawyer can't do that. Okay. Well... I guess hotel then. Let's do hotel. Oh wait, there he is. How do I talk to him? Um. <laughs> the terror on her face. Dolores, it's me, Dad. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. Um, how do I talk to her then? 
I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. Is this like a ghost thing? Do we, do we, do we need a, a spinning wheel? I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. A penny. You followed your dreams. That's how they started it, wasn't it? Or back. a dime? I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. you I did? wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Chuck pushed everyone around and used his charm to make everyone forgive him. I saw it and, you know, didn't do anything. Mr. Chance there, Goodbye, Chief. Dolores. I miss you. Alright, so I need to find a way to talk to her. That doesn't involve a dime or a pottery wheel. Um... A phone. Hold on, hold on. I'm here! I'm here! <laughs> it must be a ghost doing that. The ghost of your- I didn't know there were ghosts in the hotel. It's me, Dolores. I'm a ghost. No. Must be my imagination. Alright. Um... Well, that's a problem. Well, back to work. Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? How's business been going? In this town, always slow. You know how it is. How else may I be a boo of service? Uh, ooh, interesting. Why is it? Why is it giving me another? How's business been going? In this town, how else? May... All right, I'll skip by that. Did you see my dad just before he disappeared? I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Yes. Please tell me everything. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. Weird. Dad's nose isn't big, and you know what Dad looks like. Groucho! How else may I be a boo of service? Um, that's I it, I guess. check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Okay. It's been lipstick to death. Um, that is interesting that it has lipstick on it. It makes me feel like... That's important. I don't I don't think there's anything in here I need to do. What else is there? The abandoned factory, but we need the key. The trailhead, we need a shovel for that. That's the mansion. The old circus. Can I go inside? The padlock is unlocked. Alright. Let's let's take him over there. Oh wait. For some reason, I thought that was uh, one of the vacuum tubes I needed. It's not. All right. So someone mentioned that I needed to. I needed two people here in the circus. Crap! Oh. There we go. So let's go over here. Bring you over here. Oh. And let's get him up there. I suppose. Let's get her over here. It's an old moth-eaten trampoline. No way am I jumping on this old trampoline. Someone's supposed to hold it while he jumps. That's too far to jump from here. Okay. How do I get someone to hold it then? That's too far to jump from here. Do I actually need to just... I need to be higher to jump on it. Right, that's what I thought. So, how does he get higher then? I need to be higher to jump on it. Because that's too far to jump from here. Oh, of course. Hold on. That's as far to the right as I can move it. I'll have to pull it to move it to the left. It's the door to my trailer. I know. Okay. Um. Grab it. I'm too far to reach. Get off. Not while I'm jumping. I'm getting off this contraption. <laughs> okay. Hilarious. All right, we need to get over here. No, no, no. Oh my God. That's as far to the left I can move it. Gotcha. I'll have to push it to move it to the right. Hey, spotter, you're in the wrong spot. You want me to break my neck? Be careful. I like how she's just okay, going along with this. Here I go. Got it. Great. How do I get off now? 
Fantastic! We, we, we've made progress. Um, it was just a regular page? Ooh, the lawyer's card. It's my next lawyer's business card. Um. Brent Bailiwick, JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. <laughs> I'm in the phone book. He definitely screwed me. All right. Thanks a lot. I don't know if that's useful for her, but we'll do it anyway. Was it just a regular page? I think it was. It's my no, I don't want the joke book. book. But there are four pages. All right, so I got that. I just need the key, or the yeah, the key to the gate and 21 more specks of dust. Great. So that's fantastic. It's a business card for a lawyer, Brant Balowick, JD. All right, so let us go to the radio station then. I don't think we could do anything here, but I'm going to check it anyway. We interrupt our hostile takeover. Not it's locked and bolted from the inside. You're listening to KSCUM 198.7 on the Yeah, FM nothing dial. here. And now back to... Alright, find out what happened to Dad. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what I do know, though, is... I think I have enough, perhaps, maybe, with the phone? Maybe? Where do I need to go? In here? No, that's the kitchen. Um, this is Uncle Chuck's yeah, Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog. It's a business card for a lawyer. Brant Balowick, JD. I need the number. What was the number? It's a business card for a lawyer. Brant Balowick, JD. Legal problems? Don't worry. We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. Hey. Oh. Oh, she was about to say something too. Damn it! All right. It's a business card for a brand. I'm in the. What was she about it's a to business say? Brand. I'm in the phone book. Hey, he was Uncle Chuck's lawyer. Brent Fallowick. All right, he is not here. Brant. I was looking at Brent. Two seven eight three. No. Very Kentucky Route Zero esque here. Here and there along the Echo. Hi there. This is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today, prepping for ThimbleCon 87. <laughs> Try me later. Damn it. Well, that didn't do anything. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you leave Peter. Right. Um, well, that failed. Um, hmm. So, I gotta find out what happened to Dad. Does he have anything about Dolores? Try to talk to Dolores. Oh, visit Chuck's tomb to get closure. So, it does say try to talk, and I, I still can't get out of here, right? It's a robot. It's a robot. Why can't I leave? Yeah. I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. So, I need to get rid of Xavier to get out and visit Chuck's tomb. How do I get rid of Xavier? It's an elevator. It's a button to call the elevator. Um, uh, can I go to the top? Sorry, but Xavier said no one could go to the penthouse. You're a jerk. Well, there's nothing on five, is there? No. It's an elevator. So, I need to get rid of Xavier, and I don't think I'm anywhere near that right now. I'm gonna get him out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you chill out there. I need to stay focused. Yeah, you do. Take blood swab from the body. So I need to do that still. I'm not sure how to do that. We'll figure that out. Get the blood trauma report. Put the three reports in the restaurant. So she's pretty damn close. Oh, I know. Um, no. What am I doing? I need the map. Uh, which she has. All right, let's go grab a map. And we can dry the toilet paper. I remember now. We can drive... Where is it at? I think it's this way. We can dry the toilet paper in the bathroom at the... Quickie Pal. There we go. I think I should wash my hands after going... And you... This on that. 
It's working. The paper is drying out. Is that frowny face there before? I don't know. All right. Go in there. We need to get ourselves a map. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find any of that? No, get off my face. And we want to take that... Here. Progress is getting made! Alright, so... Let's use this over here! Holy shit, son! We got it done! Okay. Look how it makes you wait for that shit. Alright, bloody wa wallet, corpse blood. The blood on the wallet matches the body's blood. Accuracy 100%. I mean, yeah, I mean, we, we knew all this. Go upstairs, you jerk. Give me a warrant. I want a warrant. Alright, use this bad boy in here. It doesn't seem to be working. What? Use this in there. It doesn't seem to be working. It doesn't seem to be working. It oh, seems to be it's missing, missing a, tube. a tube. Um, what kind of tube? Hold on. Someone's got a tube, right? How about an AT25? Although, all right, let's just try this first, and then we'll go from there. Oh god, damn it! I didn't we mean interrupt. to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Use tube. Yeah. No? Yes! That should fix it. Hell yeah, alright. Let's do this. I didn't talk to this thing first, maybe I should do that. It has the first of three reports. The identity report. What is the meaning of life? Lovely. The arrest library thousand trademark as primary function is to take reports from the blood library. Sings freaking <laughs> vibrating like nuts. Trademark and the face library thousand trademark and issue an arrest warrant for the obviously guilty suspect. <laughs> I think Willie's a red herring. What happens after the arrest warrant is generated? The arrest library thousand trademark. Generates the arrest warrant. This compact criminal is arrested, jailed, and toils away making license plates with little chance of release. The job of the detective, agent, or law enforcement personnel is done. Thank you. Um, what about the due process? If they weren't guilty, they wouldn't have been arrested. The Logic! trademark is invaluable. Skipping a trial spares the family's pain and suffering and millions in court costs. The arrest run 3000 trademark is unvaluable. You said that already. The arrest run 3000 trademark. The arrest run 3000 trademark. Okay. Rebooting. Uh oh. Loading check fix 3.4. Loading drivers. Loading high man that size. What? 3000 trademark. 64k RAM system, 38,911 64k, holy cow! Alright, wonderful. I don't need to do all this. Control, delete. Close program. Alright, use this in there. Use this in there. Give me a warrant! Hell yeah! We know? Did he say we know? Uh oh. Oh, what have we here, Reno? None of your business, have Abu. Our big city agent, Reno, actually solved the murder. I'll take that. What? Let's see what it says, Reno. Oh. Blah, Reno. Blah, Reno. Oh, blah, Reno. Ah, Willie T. Wino. Just as I suspected, Reno. Yeah, I'll be right back. That's BS, I did the work. Wait, you are under arrest, Areno, for the murder of Boris Schultz. Who? What? Come with me, Areno. Well, Willie Areno, what have you got to say for yourself? I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Areno? These feds will break you. 
Why are you leaving it you up to me? You close this case, Areno? Have at him. Do you think we should play good cop, bad cop? What else would we play? Um, I think this only works on TV. I think this only works on TV. Okay. I'm the good cop, and she's the bad cop. <sighs> You're not supposed to tell him <laughs> that. Well, I'm not good cop, bad cop. I did it, I did it! Damn! I killed the man by the bridge okay. just to watch him die. What? Anything else you want to confess to? I also kidnapped the Lindbergh baby. Oh, okay. Keep talking, murder boy. I'm D.B. Cooper, and I stole all the money. All right. I think we have enough to lock you up for life. You're going to the big house, Willie. Don't mess with the feds. Oh, wow. Later that night. Holy cow. I'm glad I caught the killer, and we can finally leave this stinkhole. That's not such a bad place. I learned a lot from working with you, Agent Ray. Yeah, I'll look you up if I'm ever at the home office in Albuquerque. Uh, there is no home office in Albuquerque. No shit, Sherlock. What? Yes, we know he's not really an agent, right? Holy cow! Don't tell me this is the end of the game! Alright, that's it for this episode of Thimbleweed. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.